Over the next 72 hours, I am going to be showing you all around Sin City, known as Vegas, baby. And guys, in today's video, we are going to be spending a whopping 3,000 US dollars. Three G, three G, three G. And we're gonna see what we can do with this in Vegas. Now, this might be a little different than your typical Vegas trip. When you think of Vegas, you think of party and you think of the strip, you think of a lot of very naughty things. But I'm gonna show you the place which created Vegas's tourism industry. So welcome to Vegas. The journey begins from Abu Dhabi to Las Vegas. is getting us hooked up with this Tesla with these Lambo style doors. Let's hop up in here. Let's go Vegas, baby. Don Rob! <laughs> Looks good, bro. <laughs> we are in Vegas, baby! All right, so we just arrived here to the Conrad, brother. Welcome. Welcome Thank to you. Vegas. Thank you so much. So we're going to check this place out. As you can see, we're trying to show you guys what it's like doing the luxury side of Vegas. The crazy part about Vegas is there is something for everyone. Whether you're coming as a family, there's water parks, there's malls to walk around, there's all different types of stuff. There's clubs, there's party atmospheres, there's restaurants. There's so much going on everywhere. Perhaps. I mean, the vibe here in Vegas, there's nothing like it. So well, actually I was so planning on taking out all of my grandmother's life savings and putting it all on black <laughs> and seeing what happens. They always say that's the best idea, come to Vegas. Yeah, Enter right. your life savings <laughs> into the slots. <laughs> Shell off. This is the Conrad. We're gonna go up to the room in just a moment and show you guys that. <laughs> oh shit, we passed the elevator. <laughs> All right, so we have just arrived to Vegas and this is where we're gonna be staying. We're at the Conrad, which is about like $350 per night. So for three nights, we're gonna be spending nearly $1,000 on this place, actually plus the resort fee. We're at like 1,050. So what else we got over here? We got Fiji, we've got some, uh, looks like wine right in there, all the snacks and down here. Oh yeah, everything we need to get that night going. So this is gonna be our accommodation for the day. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, the thought of bed sounds so great after 30 hours of travel. Here we go. Not Vegas, baby, let's go. Viva Las Vegas. Welcome to the one and only Las Vegas elevator. Ah. All right, we're gonna do a little strip exploration. We're leaving the hotel at the moment. One of the first things we see, if you zoom in right there, look at that. That is the first advertisement we're seeing right out here. There is cream, a finger. I'll take one, please. And no pumpkin, all spice. Next to a strip it, liquor. You, this is the first car rental place I've ever seen that shares the same place with a liquor store. Vegas, baby. Two wild boys in Vegas right now. What could possibly go wrong? Tacos or Gordo. Shove oh, them in my tacos. gullet. So what are you thinking about getting, bro? We need some tacos here, some chorizo, quesadillas. Steak. We got cops right back there making the chow. Holy shit, yeah, what is that? Steak so we're gonna show you guys tonight out. what it's like to get an inexpensive meal here in Vegas, because the next two nights are gonna be super high end. You get like three tacos, that'll run you like 12 bucks. So, not bad for America. Hola, hola, que tal? Quiero a quesadilla, queso pollo. Apoyo. 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 Por favor. So this is how they prepare it right there. Freshly sliced. That is going to be absolutely fantastic. God damn. Oh yeah. We got our man over here with a knife in the head. Yeah, holy shit. Like I need to go to a doctor, dude. Oh, oh gracias. Hola, hola, que tal? Uh, quiero uh, uno coconut water. Hey, no, Dos. No, no. Solo una agua, por favor. Thirty-seven eighty-eight for two of them. That's a great deal. Chow time. Let's see what a four-dollar taco tastes like. Hold up. Oh yeah, get that thing loaded up. Traveled all the way from Abu Dhabi to take a bite out of this taco right here. Mmm. <laughs> that does taste pretty authentic. 
carne asada. Gracias, México. Gracias, Las Vegas. All right, back to Conrad for the night. I am not here for a long time, but I am here for a good time. It is our first morning here in Vegas and I cannot wait. I feel so freaking alive. But I can tell you, I'm feeling great also because I'm able to stay connected. Hell yeah, we're here chilling out here in Vegas right now. It is such a vibe. Thanks to my Jetpack eSIM. Jetpack, whether you're here in America or you're in 150 destinations around the world, they provide amazing and fast, reliable data that you can easily set up from your phone. So now all we gotta do is go and install the eSIM. So literally you hit that right there Continue, activate, continue, continue, begin eSIM installation. Look at that, activate new eSIM, allow this. If you requested a new eSIM from your carrier, we're gonna hit allow and boom. So now we are all set. We are back in business. Welcome to Vegas. You don't have to do the traditional way where you stop at the airport as soon as you arrive to the place, visit the SIM card shop, spend 40 minutes waiting in line doing all this. No, you get set up right away on your phone open up with a Wi-Fi connection, buy your Jetpack eSIM, and then boom, you're able to get connected and continue with your day like we are here in Vegas, baby. So if you guys wanna check out more on Jetpack's eSIM, we've got a special offer for you. So head down to the link in my description below and we'll be able to get you set up with your Jetpack eSIM today. Anyways, let's go Vegas. Oh yeah, it's a quiet day at the pool. So we just made it up to the uh, 66th floor we're gonna try and explore this place, the Alley Lounge on 66 in Sky Casino. There is this huge, beautiful lounge up here. Five star chilling here. Amazing views of Vegas. You can see the distance way out there. We've got all these towers and a beautiful place. This is the Conrad. It's one of the newer hotels here inside of Vegas. And just look at this, guys. We got a full bar up here. Everything is elite. This is what $300 per night gets you. I would say this is a rather nice deal. We've got a piano bar there. We've got, as we showed you, the full bar right there. And 360 degree views nearly of all of Vegas. Pure luxury. You can have a nice smoke while looking out into the Encore, the Trump Tower, and all of these views. I think we're gonna get into a lot of trouble here this weekend. And by that, I mean good trouble, waking up early getting some sunshine in our faces. Ah. Yalla, welcome to Vegas. So get ready guys, we're going to be exploring for these next couple days and showing you maybe a different side of Vegas. The first place is the birthplace of Vegas. Let's go. We're gonna be taking you out to see another side of Vegas. Everyone knows the party side, everyone knows the club side, everyone knows what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And you can even see behind me, we have a wild weekend here, a hawk to a truck right there, fully modded out, and all these wild trucks that you've probably never seen in your life, especially if you're not from the USA. But we're gonna be going bright and early here on a bit of a cloudy and cold day here in Las Vegas over on a Hoover Dam tour. So we got our good man, Charles, right? Yes, indeed. Our man here is gonna be taking us. Thank you so much. So can you tell us a little bit about what this tour is like? Well, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking you down to the Hoover Dam. I'm gonna hand you off to some rafters so you guys All can right. actually see the Hoover Dam from below. That's pretty so, crazy. So yeah, so you're gonna be looking at this massive technological advancement. So you get to see every bit of Hoover Dam. All right, what happens in the Hoover Dam stays in the Hoover Dam, right? You got it. <laughs> Let's Except do it, for Charles. herpes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All Senior. aboard. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Look you, brother. VIP cruising here. How we doing back there, Donathan? Hello, Waters. Yes, yes. That's what they call in the Paradise. We just found out guys that this whole time we've been being told we were in Las Vegas, but in reality we were in a place, a township known as Paradise, which honestly I kind of like the name of uh, Paradise better than Las Vegas being the meadows, but hey, that is uh, Vegas for you. So how far are we actually from the real Vegas? About two miles. Two miles, all right. Yeah, Las Vegas is actually what we now call downtown or Fremont Street, or uh, Old Vegas. Mm. Old Vegas, oh, that's right, okay. So trivia, do you guys know what Las Vegas means? It means the kingdom. <laughs> that would be a good one, I like that. It's a good answer, it's just not the right one. Uh, <laughs> a long time ago, a whole bunch of non-meat eaters came out here and they disappeared, so we named it after the Lost Vegans. 
<laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's not true. Uh, Las Vegas means the meadows. I will be right back there to open the door for you and remind you not to bump your head. Grab a water if you like, but there is a, a store in here. All right, we're spending a few extra bucks here. We got a nice little Hoover Dam shirt. 10, 15, 20 bucks, something like that. Might have to grab one. All right, these are apparently one of the craziest caffeinated beverages you can get in America these days. So we're gonna get one. They're not alcoholic, but they apparently burn body fat. Jonathan. Hello. USA. 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 Are you gonna Did somebody say some donut? <laughs> num num? Don't do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> yeah, look Don't at how good that thing looks. Do it. Donut? No. No. All right, I gave in. I had to get a donut. They're delish, Kathy? Uh, yes, I. They're fresh every day. Oh, that's just how we like it, Kathy. Thank you very much. Hoover Dam. God damn, Hoover Dam. God damn. So we got the Beautiful. shirt there. Oh, yeah, proud new owner. Thank you very much, Kathy. You're welcome. Thanks, Kathy. Thank See you. Ya. Another 20 buck, one buck spent. And you're Marty? Marty, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's hop aboard. Jonathan, yalla. Yalla. All right, Charles, we'll see you on the flip side. You want water before you go? No, I'm good. I'm good All right, right now. Good. Thanks a lot. Charles, thank you. See you soon. Right, appreciate it. Oh, thanks. And Marty. Here's here, the federal agent. Oh, man. So this right here, we're talking at the top 35 to 45 feet in terms of width of the cement at the bottom, 660 feet. I believe that's right. All right, we nailed it. Nailed it, bro. We've we been paying it. attention. Mr. M yeah, Marty's giving us oh, a test you, here. You were watching that movie, weren't you? No, 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 no. I, uh, the other guy, uh, Charles, he was telling us all the secrets. He takes you guys inside. I used to work with Pink. Yeah. yeah. Best yeah. training ever. Yeah, I yeah. I love those guys. Yeah, so I this place them. is absolutely crazy. And this was required, I believe, more material than the pyramids of Giza. So at the time this thing was being built, it was literally like a project of humanity, the biggest project ever. And uh, there was a little dispute over Mr. Hoover himself where it took until the late 1940s before they could even agree on calling it the Hoover Dam. So we're going to be hopping up on this boat right over there and getting right up and close to it. How are you doing, Matt? Yeah. What's your name? Mac. Mac, nice yeah, to meet nice you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Mac. Robert. Robert. You can call him the Don Rob though. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Don Rob? That's right. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's our proud, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we heard we have the best river guide ever though. Her name is Sarah. Yeah, we, we heard that someone named Sarah is going to take us on one of the greatest tours of all time. Is this the is this raft ready? number eight by chance? All right. We're going to head on down here. Watch your step. Some free bags right over there, too. All right. All aboard. Marty, hopefully we'll see you again. We'll see what happens, Marty. No promises, Marty. <laughs> good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Reporting to you live from the Hoover Dam. Here for a good time, not a bad time. Welcome. So let's dive a bit deeper into the Hoover Dam. We referenced the pyramids of Giza earlier because the Hoover Dam used more material to create, marking it as one of the most ambitious construction projects in history, especially back then. Speaking of, the dam was built during the Great Depression from 1931 and completed in 1936. It was built by diverting the Colorado River through four massive tunnels drilled into the canyon walls, which allowed the construction site to dry. The project required thousands of workers working in extreme heat. But what is this dam even for anyways? So most people know this dam as the Hoover Dam for the hydroelectric power that it provides. But when this dam was first constructed, that was not actually the main purpose. The main purpose was flood control. Because if this dam were ever to be destroyed or broken, it would take out so many villages and towns and probably claim the lives of 100,000 people leading all the way down to Mexico. You've seen it in tons of movies where it shows this dam being destroyed. And that was its original purpose and its original incentive for Congress to agree finally 
to build this dam. But there's actually a bunch of other benefits to building this dam. And the second one is the ability to store water. So during the winter times, obviously the mountains are gonna freeze. That's gonna heavily bring down this river. And then you're able to use this water later and throughout the year. So that's the second benefit. Number three is the silt management from this massive amount of water right here. And last but not least, number four is the hydroelectric power. And the crazy part is this dam actually paid for itself by the 1960s. And so in the 1960s, this thing has become a profitable stream for the government in this area. So it provides tons and tons of hydroelectric power to this part of the country. And it is a crazy structure. As I mentioned, this project, when it was built, it was the largest project of mankind, bigger than the pyramids of Giza, bigger than Aztec, bigger than all of these different projects you can think of. Pretty freaking crazy, right? Welcome to the Hoover Dam. So we have just docked up over here and we've got some wild animals right out here in the damn area. A mother with their two kids. This is the side of Vegas you would never expect out here in nature. Honestly, this is just blowing my mind. The nature you can find around here. As I said, I've been to so, I've been on so many Vegas trips and to see a side of this place that just completely as funny as this sounds to say, but to say that like visiting Vegas, I'm now changing my perceptions on it. Never would have thought I would have some moments like this, especially having visited this place so many times. But on this trip specifically, we just did a bunch of different things and just seeing another side of the country, it's so impressive. And the fact that this project is that huge. I've heard of the Hoover Dam, I've seen it in movies, but I never actually understood the significance of it until you're out here, you see how massive this place is and imagine the force it takes to stop a river and turn it into a power source. That's America, baby. We call this puppy a silver dollar. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. God bless America. Look at this. This is, this is 10 out of 10 service right there. Just welcoming us with open arms. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. Please Thanks, come back Sarah. and visit me again. Yeah. I love that. Right? Sarah, you dropped this. You yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got the King Marty. How we doing? We're good. Hey, I want to offer to you guys. If you want me to go fast or slow, I'll do it. Can we roll it? Because I figure you guys see the world differently than I do. Yeah. And so we'll just cruise on up. I like Sounds where beautiful. I like where your head's at, Marty. Let's do this, Doctor Marty, Professor. Federal Agent Marty. She's talking about me. Yeah, damn right. I've got a crush on Sarah, but she says she's already got. A trophy husband. Uh-oh, we won't show that to your wife, Marty. <laughs> now we need special access. Oh my goodness. I might get killed on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so Marty, I need the most mind-blowing fact about this place. Off the cuff. I got no cuff. I get it's my privilege to come down here. This is I'm a semi-retired old guy or semi-old retired something. And God, I guess I'm hanging around the house too much. My wife says, you need a job. So I get this one in three days. She finds this job for me. Three days, so, wow. She's yeah. a keeper. Well, she, I think she wanted me out of the house. Oh, yeah. So anyway, it's my privilege to come down here. Somehow I passed the fingerprint test to get this badge and open the gate for everybody. Just a connection uh, with nature that's really cool. It's the exact opposite of the streets of Las Vegas, which I also Literally, enjoy. Yeah. Couldn't be any more different. The natural strip over here. Oh my goodness. That's a good way to put it. Sarah's waving at us. Till next time, Sarah. All right, so we have just made it up to the top of the Hoover Dam right now. You guys got to see it from the bottom. This place is going to absolutely blow your mind. It is one of the largest construction projects in the world. And at that time, it was the largest in human history. So that just gives you an idea. And this place is just absolutely crazy. You can see all these transformers leaning down into there. And then this bridge is what really blew my mind. This bridge took more time than the dam itself to build. Pretty crazy fact for you guys. These escalators are even more of a modern wonder. They took longer to repair these things than it took to build this entire dam. 
Five whole years. Oh. Bananas, man. That's crazy. And just this section? Both of these have been shut down. For, for five, five years? years? Just this yeah. tiny little portion? Yeah. So we took an elevator deep inside the dam down to one of the divergent tunnels, and it was crazy to learn how the whole system works and the strength of the gravitational force the river has rushing through the pipes. It was mind-blowing to hear the guide explain everything. Right now we are standing right here inside of one of the four divergent tunnels, Guys, this is crazy. When you're standing down here, you can just feel the water that's going through this massive pipe just rumbling, almost like an earthquake. Let's go to the power station. Jeb, when you're walking through this, it just gives you an idea that people had to get way deep in here and dig all of this out back in the day using dynamite and so much. It just like puts it into perspective how dangerous of a job this once was to do it. It's pretty insane. We were just listening to a video where it talks about these generators supply electricity for over a million people. So that's pretty cool. If only we had something that was just as amazing for the entire rest of the United States. It just gives some clean energy. But to see this thing is such a marvel. We were just talking about this. Never in my life would I ever have thought to come to Hoover Dam. Right. It's just never something that interesting. But then here we are. It's pretty damn cool. Pretty yeah. cool place. You should definitely check it out. So yeah, yeah it's it's sick. It is crazy. I mean, when you look at this place, it is massive. The scale of this camera probably doesn't show you guys how crazy this place is. But <laughs> the amount of power this place generates, the architecture it, and the design and engineering it would take to build a place like this is mind blowing, guys. We're literally walking through what was once just a mountain and they slowly boom, 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 boom. Tons of freaking dynamite opened this up and built all of this power and we're in the dam. Dam, this is a big dam. Welcome to the biggest dam in the whole world. God damn. So guys, many... right over there is uh, Arizona on the other side. We're gonna be walking all the way to Arizona right now. There's a large portion of you watching this video who would have never thought about going to the Hoover Dam, but actually the Hoover Dam is the birthplace of tourism for Las Vegas. That might completely blow your mind, especially for what this place is known for. Huge parties, gambling, and just absolute debauchery in this area. But it did not start there. It started with one of the most magnificent construction projects of all time, known as the Hoover Dam. And let me just tell you, this attracts people all the way from back then until now. The amount of people that are here, thousands and thousands of people, a little spread out at the moment, that do tours of this place every single day. Sir, thoughts? Spanish. Español? Sí. ¿Qué piensas? Está muy bonito. Está súper bien bonito, ¿no? Súper bien bonito. Demasiado. Demasiado, sí. Nosotros venimos del Salvador a visitar. El Salvador. Desde El Salvador. ¿El capital o qué? Eh, San Miguel. No, no de la capital, es Oriente, wow. Oriente del país. Wow. Pero está bien bonito. ¿Y qué quieres decir para mi OnlyFans? Para los OnlyFans. Exacto, hombre. Oh, que está bien. Que se suscriban. Eso, gracias. Muchas gracias, hermano. He told everyone to subscribe to my OnlyFans, so please join. Uh, 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 it's called the Don Rob Show on YouTube. I'm already famous. Yeah? All right, what are you famous for? No, I'm not. I'm not. It's my first well, you're about to be. Today, today's it's the my day. first time on YouTube. All right, let's go. Let's Yo, mic check, mic check. First time on YouTube. How, do, how does this work? How does YouTube work? Is, you're doing it. You're doing it. Oh, 900,000. There, no, there we go. No, there we go. No, We're going haven't. viral today. I haven't. I haven't. All right. <laughs> From this side, oh my god. Look at this spillway. That's the thing they were talking about. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the spillway right over there. And look at this. You can see how high the river gets up to because of the different shades of the rock right there that's pretty wild to see it just literally completely changes the color from a dark brown almost mars like color to this white i have about nine trillion gallons of fresh water in there right now we've only got about six trillion and that's because it's dropped that far and it's a 20 year drought it's been going on for about 20 years yeah wow is it looking like it'll ever recover well it came up about 30 feet last year it came up about 30 feet the year before so um, it is coming back up right now. And I remind people, I mean, the Hoover Dam was built because the Colorado River is unpredictable. So it'll go through 
years and years and decades of drought, but then you'll have years and years and decades of flooding. This truly is a magnificent, mind-blowing place. USA, USA, USA. Vegas, what do you think? It's great. Yeah, hell yeah. Vegas, baby. <laughs> Charles the Great, it has been a legendary time. Thank you so much, Charles. You're the man. Appreciate you. We will see you next time because this tour was epic. So, and I'm definitely going to be subscribing. All right, so we have made it to our next stop here, which is this complex known as the Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa. So we're going to be having a nice little lunch here. We're going to be showing you a bunch of different types of cuisines while we're in Vegas. Some pretty crazy meals here soon, but first we got to see if people are winning big in there. Let's go. Hello, any millionaires? This is Vegas for you guys. At all hours of the day, the lighting pretty much stays the same. It's this mood light that keeps you spending, keeps you going. Remember, the more you spend, the more you earn. Exactly. You can't make money if you don't spend it. I've made it in here to the wild jungle. All right, there's where we're going. Naxos Taverna. Probably pronouncing that wrong, but this looks like a nice little Greek. Eatery yummy, right yummy. Oh, in my yeah. tummy. Ooh, look at this bar. We got fish tacos here. Hello, how are you? Uh, good, thanks. We, we've we got a reservation for one. One but. What's the name on the reservation? Matt Candy. Do you want to get seated now? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. Right, thank you very much. It's time to order. Welcome to Naxos, the Greek Taverna. No doubt, my friends, we're going to be splurging on today's meal. We have some chickpea hummus. This is definitely more of a uh, Levantine Middle Eastern dish here, but they've probably got their own Greek touch to it. So we're going to be tasting that with some pita bread and a nice OJ right there. And we've got the main course coming. So a little appetite to get us going. And we're probably gonna spend roughly maybe 100 US dollars on this meal. That's my guess. All right, let's get this going right there. Mm. How's that tasting? Tom M. Mm. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. Thank you very much, brother. We are Thanks, gonna man. be digging in. Look what we got going on here. Some avo toast Greek style with some eggs right <laughs> on top of there. Mm -mm, good, and some fresh bacon. Are you ready for this, bro? We also have some steak, cheese, butter, cream, eggs, Potatoes. It is time to chow down on our first luxury meal of this trip. So as you can see, we've got some bacon right there and we've got egg and avocado. The right way to do it. Mm. Guys, that is so freaking good. The way they do it the Greek way, mm, that hits the taste buds. We've got the egg yolk mixed in, some spices inside of that toast, some avocado mixed with it. It looks like onions, maybe pickle or no, uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, a little bit of everything. And as I guessed, about $102 for us to have a brunch right here. That was a delicious meal here at Naxos right here. As you can see, we got that whole overall Greek vibe here. What'd you think, Don? Oh, it was pretty delicious. Pretty good food here. And they've even got Naxos. a little bar set up right Thanks there as you. well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> it's time to make the big bucks. Taking home the, the bag. <laughs> Vegas, made it, baby. we are doing it big. Brian. Wow, look at how close that plane is right there. Just flying right over. Just goes to show you how close the airport is to the strip itself. It's literally like a mile away. Look, look at this plane, it's flying right over the Trump Tower. It's insane. The driver was saying that no matter how cold it gets, there's pool parties outdoor all year round here. No way, yeah. holy shit. He's like, they just keep the pool Pool's heated here and it just keeps going. We might have to find ourselves a pool party. Yep. Well, look at this. This is the encore. There's tons of really massive and nice high end hotels all around here. You've got the Wynn there, Palazzo, Treasure, Trump, Hilton, Conrad, where we're staying, all these advertisements. Vegas is a tourist city. It attracts all different types of people for all different types of reasons. Whether you're coming out here to party, go on vacation with the family, water parks. Bible study. Yeah, a little bit of everything. You can find anything out here. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we got Charizard way up there. All right, we got a fellow vlogger here. Let's see what he's up to. We got a fellow vlogger here. The content god, what's <laughs> yeah, going on, bro? No, are, you, are we live Oh, oh my god! Oh, we're going live, we're going I, I live. I didn't want to reveal myself, but look, I'm a professional right. uh, poker player. Look, how do I look? Look, I'm oh, a professional no poker player. Let, let's right. go. Look. Oh, legend. Holy He's shit. He's about to win millions. See, I'm a professional. Holy I can tell. I finally made it. You know, it took years and years to master. So what do you that's think? what's up. 10,000 on red? 10,000 on red. Make it happen. All right. It's going to happen. Royal. Right? 10,000 on red. Royal right. flush tonight. Royal flush. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, do yeah. it. 
Let's make that cash. Hey, let's not even promote ourselves or anything. Let's just let it leave it a mystery, all right? I don't even know want to know who you are. Me, I'm a mystery. It's it's Halloween, Focus, guys. All right, all right, all right. All right. It's a all mystery. <laughs> it's gonna be big today. All right, keep making billions tonight. Vegas, baby! <laughs> this is easily one of Vegas's biggest attractions, is the sphere. The boys just broke out. Holy shit, a la carcel. <laughs> so as you guys can see, we got, we got the prison squad. Love the outfits. In Vegas, you can see pretty much anything. All right, we're gonna see if we can find ourselves a dinner somewhere around mm. here. Because we're looking to spend a little cash. Mm. Open sesame, yellow. All right, well, it smells like there's some good food in here somewhere. Mm. Let's figure out where. If you enter into these malls, you can easily get lost. I mean, here we've got like all these designer brands, Louis Vuitton, <clears throat> Kate Spade. You go over this way. This is all indoor. It feels almost like an outdoor terrace here. We've got fountains. We've got even a waterfall up there. And like a lot of these areas connect to so many of the dis different resorts. Like you need to come to Vegas multiple times to really know your way. And even after myself, I've been here maybe like... I don't know, maybe actually eight times. I have a general idea where we are, but not exactly. Really? I yeah. do. I have no idea where we are. Really? It's yeah. all, it's, it's like, like, I just remember all these connect. Yeah. It just yeah, somehow. Yeah. It's insane, dude. dude well, I can't we, believe we've, we've made even got it. Venice. Yeah, we walked all the way to Venice. This is crazy, dude. Italy, we've made it. Like, this literally feels like you're outside, but no, it's night outside. You have the clouds, and we've got Venice right here. It's, it's a literally real just life like Italian Venice. man. It's a real. Italian man right yeah, there. Yeah, he's authentic. Who needs Italy when you could just come to Las Vegas? Exactly. This is practically the same thing. Actually, this is probably even better. Got ourselves a little oxygen bar here. All right, let's check this place out. So, so she, she what, was just explaining, yeah, what it is. What type of stuff does this do for you? So basically, it's a higher percentage of oxygen. Helps with jet lag, headaches, migraines, fatigue, hangovers. Jet lag. Helps with jet lag. Oh. Basically, it gives your body a natural boost of energy. For how long? Metabolizes in your body about six to eight hours. Oh, wow. Whoa. So we'll be yeah. up all night then. You won't be up all night it's because it's natural. When you guys want to go to sleep, you can actually go to sleep. It's not going to keep you up like a stimulant does. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Well, we he's fresh off a flight from Bali. I'm fresh off a flight from Abu Dhabi. So. It would definitely help. How late do you plan on staying up is the question. Three more hours? Go for it. <laughs> what do you think? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. do a session. Awesome. This is going to be your base. So your base is typically going to be 40. However, because it's Halloween, we're doing buy one, get one half off. Oh, oh shit. All right, sweet. So um, your base is going to be 40. If uh -huh. you want to add vitamins, you can add B12, vitamin C, and D3. Those are the vitamins at the end. They are $20 extra per vitamin. Yeah, I think that sounds great. Right. The base awesome. sounds wonderful. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Cool. little getting high off of oxygen. <laughs> sounds nice. Right. You do this, you have unlimited oxygen. Oh, it tickles the nose. <laughs> yeah, you're set. There you go. All uh, right, now we're ready for this. Sometimes you're not going to be able to feel it in your nose, so I always like to show you before I connect you. Oh. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> oh, no, I've never He's been dead. better. <laughs> so a couple drops of eucalyptus in the palm of your hands. All right. Beautiful. Put them together, smash yep. them. I love it so much I do it too. Oh, oh it smells together. great. Yeah. Yeah. Over your face, inhale nice and deep. It's going to open up those airways. Yeah, oh. damn. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. I'd be breathing, baby. <laughs> wow. So the next part is going to be part of the massage. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to come behind you, put a couple drops of on the back of your neck, okay? All right. All right. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, it feels good. The little peppermint, it feels really nice. Yep. All right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get you guys started with our vibrating knuckles. Mm. They just vibrate and they help stimulate the nerves. Vibrating oh, knuckles. Vibrating knuckles. All right. Only yeah, in Vegas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> These vibrating knuckles are wild. Yeah, holy cow. Oh my god. Oh, kind of real kind of yeah. ticklish. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll move. No, that's good. That's good. That's so good. Uh, All right. See, let's see if we can handle the chicken. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the Don Rob's in it. It's quite nice. Mm. Yeah, you seem way more awake than you did before. Yeah.
Hey man, that was, <laughs> yeah. we were struggling. Yeah. yeah, I feel like my jet lag is actually cured. I forgot that I was even tired. Is there any areas that you're experiencing pain, discomfort, anywhere, or areas you would like me to work on? Oh, I would say anywhere on the back, because I was sitting like this for 30 hours straight. Okay. So, uh, I'd say we go full blast. Oh, uh, <laughs> Are you sure you're full blast? Yeah, let's test it out. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That is the, that's that's digging right into me. Yeah. Like wow. A good dig? Yeah, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're 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 like my whole body shaking. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, right there. That's, that's that's definitely a ticklish right <laughs> over. And we're really happy because we we're actually about to stop by over at a massage chair and we we're like, no, let's skip it. Oh, yeah, so then yeah. then we came here because we were actually looking for the oxygen place. Yeah. And and then of course we were like. No way, there's a massage that comes with it. We're like, this is a total win. Yeah, I thought you were just breathing. Yeah, yeah, Some exactly. Do, we do the whole nine yards. This is what we've got right, right in front, front of us. And look at what's right above us. We have this massive, it looks like Roman painting to fit the vibe of the rest of this place. The next thing that I have for you guys is an EMS. Oh, shit. An electronic muscle stimulant. Oh, oh, wow. It's going to go a lot deeper than the TENS unit oh. does. So I EMS do have a couple unit. questions. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any heart problems? Mm, we're gonna find out. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be wild. Yeah, it's supposed to fucking you go. Have you ever been shocked before? <laughs> hmm. A lot of time. It's oddly oh. satisfying. Yeah? All right, this here we go. This is crazy. This really is a whole experience. Like, I thought this was just a breathing thing. Okay, it might be a little cold, okay? All right. Hey, baby. I'm a little nervous for this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Alright, what do these knobs do? Is this turn it up? They turn it on and off. Oh, okay. So this is going to be your controller. Alright. Black button at the bottom. Black button at the top to turn it on. Shoulders, I always recommend this one. Can you feel it? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So, this is yours. Alright. Yours I'll to pass control. It you. you know yourself better than anybody else does, okay? Alright, so I can so, just turn this up. It does go to 20. Whoa. Do not recommend it. Holy go until shit. you feel uncomfortable and you... then bring it down. Oh my is he at one? What are you at right now? I'm at three, three four. four. Holy shit. So these are all different modes. This is kind of what explains it, what each of them do. It literally feels like someone's behind me and pushing me right now. Holy shit. Is it on both your shoulders or where is it? Both of them, yeah. I'm going to turn this thing up to 20. Oh. I wouldn't recommend that. What would it do? <laughs> no. Would it f***ing explode? It would, it, okay, so basically it's a muscle simulator. Okay? Yeah. So you're working at that muscle. It's contracting it. It's releasing it. It's working the muscle out to the point of fatigue. After it's tired, all that's left to do is strengthen and repair. Mm, well, oh, so, so this actually gets me stronger? Yep. Yeah. Oh, It'll nice. help build your muscle. <laughs> it's a workout. It's going to be shredded after this. <laughs> Look at this. Whoa. We can turn the intensity up. Whoa. Wow. Holy f shit. <laughs> yeah, did you Holy turn that thing way shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's torture. Yeah, that, that is torture. Ah! Holy <laughs> What the f That's so crazy, dude. So, it's just electricity or whatever that just... It's just sending the current through the pads to wow. all those muscles. Whoa. That's crazy. We're Whoa. swearing. Whoa. The amount of electrical pulses going through me right now. This is definitely how you fix jet lag. Holy shit, <laughs> That is so good. Oh, you got JB up here, sorry. What is that? <clears throat> Just been <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of the most it. unexpected things we'll probably do here in Vegas. Probably something you didn't expect we were going to be doing in Vegas, but wow, I am actually cured from the jet lag. And how much did that cost per person? It was $40 for the base. Forty dollars for the base, and then we got the liquid IV, that's another six bucks right there. So forty-six bucks. We've got our entire night back. How are you yeah. feeling? Uh, feeling really refreshed. Like yeah. I don't look so sickly and pale anymore. I'm I'm limber and ready to get after it, baby. Let's go. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. All right. So I didn't even realize we had buy one, get one half off. So that's great. 7153 with the liquid IV. And we'll put on a 15% tip because that massage was great. Just wipe. All right. So total amount, $82.26. And now we've got energy to explore Vegas. Let's mm -hmm. do this. All right, so we got to finish the last step of the process. We've got a liquid IV. Cheers to it. Cheers. A nice new day no, in Vegas. Mm -hmm. 
took the W on that one. Chris, thank, thank you, you very Chris. much. Yeah, see you. See you next time. See you. See you. Bye. All right, that was awesome. Let's get some tacos. We're on the hunt for some tacos. Let's get after it. We're looking for tacos. Look at this. Vegas is starting to pick up for the night. We got trucks driving through here with advertisements all along there. Double decker buses. This is Vegas. I have a public announcement to make. You're all getting rich tonight. Millions. Remember, triple down. Bet more money. <laughs> triple down, everybody. Let's you can it. never go wrong with tacos, especially tacos in Vegas. Mm. Uh huh. Holy shit, I heard they're f***ing delicious here. All right, so we just got over here to a speakeasy in Las Vegas. That's right. At first, when we walked up, we were like, all right, what is this place? It looks like a typical taco place. But then they said, do you have a reservation? I was like, this is a fast food restaurant. It does not look like a place you need the reservation. So then she opens up a secret door and brings us back into this place. And check it out. We got Halloween decorations all over here. Places that sit chill. And on this side, a full bar where they even brought me out a very nice cocktail known as El Borracho, which means the drunk in Spanish. And it's in a paper bag, so let's send it. Vegas, baby. We're in the right place. Amen. And so we got the food here at the speakeasy. Oh, yeah, right over here, brother. Two pastors ready to be chowed down. And a little quesadilla. All right, all right. Thank you very much, brother. So this is going to be fantastic, guys. Check it out. Tacos right there multiple quesadillas we're getting our money's worth there and these things are actually cheaper than when we went to the taco stand the other night those were like four dollars and fifty cents at the street spot now we're in the speakeasy and these were like three dollars so let's test them out oh yeah we're eating good and the quesadillas fully loaded with a little sauce there not a typical quesadilla like i've seen before but let's see what it tastes like that slaps. Hope you enjoy with us. First bite, here we go. Mm. Good morning from Vegas, baby. All right, and Hertz rental car, that's where we're heading. We're grabbing our rental car here. Thank you very much. We got a Bugatti right here in the form of a Nissan Altima, so let's get this thing going. So we're gonna be taking you to a different side of Vegas. We're gonna get a quick little nature hike in real quick. I know that's crazy, right? Who comes to Vegas and goes on a nature hike? Well, we're gonna show you why you wanna do this type of little morning wake up call. Probably because everyone you know right now that's in Vegas is hungover and we're not. So it feels great actually to wake up and feel fresh and refreshed. And surprisingly, this time of the year in Vegas, it is kind of cold. I mean, we're in sweatshirts and uh, it's a little chilly. Bugatti? Oh, look at this thing. Lamborghini. All right, there she is. <laughs> Let's hop aboard. Ah. Inshallah. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ask him if we can get a video. Yo. Guys, we're gonna be showing you one of the most American things you can check out here. Oh, oh look at this thing. What's going on, boys? How we doing? Good, how are you? Oh, damn, what do you got here? Uh, it's a uh, resurrected kit. Yeah. Uh, 17 to 27 inches of lift, 44 inch bongers, 28 16s. Uh, full frame off, we actually just finished it a couple weeks ago. Actually, maybe a couple weeks ago, like uh, literally. Wednesday. Wow, <laughs> no way, a couple weeks ago. Wow. Guys, I mean, look at look at how tall this truck is. I'm standing, I'm almost six foot. I just missed the cup by two inches. Even up here, we're at like six foot three right there, just at the top. I mean, how do you even get in this thing? Uh, you gotta jump. jump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we can move it up and down. Oh shit, it's got hydraulics. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh, America, baby, let's go. And it's got this like super bright yellow right there. The thing just pops up. That is absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, you could literally drive over anything with this. And just to hop up right there, that's like a five foot gap right there. Imagine this thing coming at you full force. <laughs> How's it going? Yes. Mac. Have your change. Nice to meet you. If you're driving around, we got two more trucks just over on that parking lot. Oh yeah? They're, you'll, you'll, you'll see them, they just, of course you can't go in that gate right there. Yeah. We have two, two Fords backed up there that are, they're, they're like this. Yeah, similar they're, to this, yeah? Like, yeah? Oh, so that's awesome. Like family, yeah, we're gonna have to check those out. Yeah, because this, this is awesome. Wow. 
That's that's insane. <laughs> this is the biggest truck I've ever seen. So we'll do two or three of these a year, and then I sent uh, enough for two other vehicles to get built. I'll be here, but another shop built them, but we send them everything to do it. Man, so. that's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Awesome. Building it out. This is a great piece of advertisement. Oh, yeah. Driving. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just driving this thing around. That, that's an eye-turner. Yeah, yeah, everyone in town, they're like, oh, we drove by your shop just to see what you had outside yeah, For today. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we get a lot of that. That's, yeah, that's so awesome. Cool, and what was your name, by the way? Dakota. Dakota Mac. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Yeah, so that was awesome, guys. A nice little look at America's greatest trucks out here. <laughs> and we're going to be showing you a lot more of why this country is amazing. God Let's bless. Let's do it. See you guys. See you, gentlemen. You know, that's wonderful. Turn right onto South that's some one-of-a-kind experience drive, right there. Yeah. Not only can you go up and, and look at the absurdity of what that truck is, but they're, they're, they're also eager and excited to show us more and then possibly... Uh, Possibly take us for a ride. Take yeah. us for a ride in a oh, whipping in that thing. In a giant ass <laughs> monster truck. Imagine pulling up in a drive through. <laughs> Just drive up in your car and get that shit. Ah! <laughs> Yellow. You gotta look at their other, their other trucks. Yeah, I, I think they're right behind us. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they're in there. There's the other ones. Oh, look at those puppies from over here. The blackout. Head southeast yeah, towards so. South Sammy Davis oh. Jr. Drive. America! Oh! Look at these. That's, that's ridiculously massive. Oh my God. God bless America. <laughs> wow. Now that is a truck right there. It's called Liberty Forged. <laughs> look at this thing. That, that's crazy. Liberty <laughs> Forged trucks. These rims. I could literally get inside of this rim right now. Only in America. I don't, I've never seen any other country in the world that does this. God bless America. Yeah, we got to get this thing lifted Thank by the end of the trip. Yeah, we should have someone who comes. Yeah, exactly. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> imagine if we like paid to get it lifted and we brought it back. We're like, we think something's wrong with the car. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we wanted to gift you this. And this thing's like barely getting in the garage. <laughs> oh, jeez. Looking up at the car. What the <laughs> I think that's a good okay. idea. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, geez, that's, that's crazy. Lifted trucks are, are insane. All right, so we did a nice little quick pit stop there. Completely unexpected, but that's Vegas for you. Everything can be pretty unexpected in this city. So now we're going to be taking about a 15, 20 minute drive, see a quick little uh, stop in nature, and we're going to see what ends up happening. If you look right in front of me, there is actually the full army. And if you look to the side, you can see a lot of symbols right up there for all these machine guns, tanks. You can rent any of it and go shooting out here in the desert right there in the battlefield Vegas. Outside of Vegas, they definitely don't show you. The area where you don't have to worry about what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> Unless the bears get you out here. Where the mountain lions meow. All right, so we've got ourselves a nice little, uh, maybe three mile or so trail here. And we're gonna check it out. So yeah, this is pretty crazy, man, that you can find this in Vegas, just a, like, what, 30 minutes outside of the city? It's insane. You would never associate hikes and outdoors and stillness and quiet with Vegas. Right, exactly. Yeah, here we are, an incredible piece of nature. So if you ever lose your dignity on an evening, here you can find it here. Is where you come find it. <laughs> and the great mother nature, the all healing. We love you. There's nothing greater. Andrew Huberman sent Rick Rubin a message or something like this, where he's like, oh, what's your opinion on the Johnny Depp case or whatever that was? And he just said, all is noise, return to the one true source, nature. And it's just so true, man. Yeah, that is true. All right, we've been looking for the eagle's nest, and there he is, way up there. The interesting part is the more you travel, the more you realize that any place in the world is exactly what you make of it. Like we're in Las Vegas, and we're hiking through these incredible mountains. Nobody that I've told I was going to Vegas would have thought for even a second that what we're up to is doing a little hiking through the mountains in nature. No. And that just goes to show you, it's like the world and anywhere you go, it's up to you to figure out like why this place is going to have an impact on you. Why is it special? Do you feel oftentimes it's from the folks that you surround yourself with? 
come to realize as well is that so much in who you spend your time with and that can really make or break a situation or, or a trip. I love travel or like solo travel. And I'll, I think I'll continue doing that in some cases, but what I've come to realize is just way more fun to travel with a best friend and travel with exactly. a group of people. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. How much are our gas prices here? We've got $3.90. That's not too bad. Per gallon. All right. Oh, and let's fill that thing up to the brim. All right, $10.76 spent on gas here. All right, now the adventures are really beginning here in Vegas. We just arrived to Maverick Helicopters. Let's head inside. All right, it is time. Candy, C-A-N-D-E-E. -E. An appointment with the helicopter. How's it going? We're gonna pick him up. We're in the lobby of Maverick right now, and we're gonna be hopping aboard for about a 15 minute flight to get over there. Then we've got a 30 minute stop up there with some insanely good views. And champagne. First time on a chopper for you, bro? Uh, no, no, for not first time ever. You? No, no, I've been on maybe 10. Holy shit. No, maybe 20 even. 10 million. But maybe on this model, I've only been on like one or two. And so guys, this is about $240 per person. The total trip is like two and a half hours from hotel back to hotel. So we're gonna be walking out in just a few moments. Ooh. And we're literally right next to the airport. Like we're gonna, yeah. You can see the PJs taking off. We got this guy coming out here. What up, Mr. PJ? What's your name? You're, you're part of the Bodacious Blueberry Group? You know it. All right, sweet. Blueberries? Sweet. Yeah, hell yeah. Name? Oops, sorry. Right, let's go on stage up right over here. Right. Where are you from? Uh, Texas and Chicago. Right on, vacation. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a vacation. Yeah. And you, where are you from? Montana. Montana yeah. rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah just bit, a tiny bit. bit. How long you been flying, Adam? Uh, I've been with Maverick since like January of this year. Nice, all right, sweet. Like and how many flights you do per day? Uh, 20. 20, all right. Uh, something like three flights. Three flights, all right. Yeah. So we're what, number one, number two? You are my second flight today. Second flight, all right, second's the best here. Yeah. So this is gonna be the bird we're hopping in right here? Uh, yeah. So you ready for this, bro? I'm ready, man, this will be sick. Get it going. Vegas, time to see you from the sky. As soon as we took off, we flew over Vegas and got to see some incredible views of the Strip. Then we headed towards the Mojave Desert, passing by the stunning Red Rock Canyon. This was absolutely breathtaking. And just a few moments later, we are gonna be landing on a secluded spot 2,900 feet above the valley for a champagne toast. So freaking surreal. All right, we have made it. Somehow we were still alive, despite all the odds. We're here. All right, thank you very Hooray. much. Oh, oh, oh. And we have made it to the top of the mountain. Only one way to get here, by chopper. This view is incredible, man. It's so beautiful. The champagne going right on top of the mountain. Is this the only way up or can you drive up here? You can do whatever you want, man. You can drive up here, walk up here. This is the only way to do it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The best way. Champagne, definitely for this guy right here. Yeah, are you oh, drinking oh, some? Oh, oh, without a doubt. I guess we're drinking some. I mean, how? Oh, give me, give him the bottle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, hell yeah. Cheers. Cheers to the blueberries. Our first drink in Vegas. Mm. All right, got a little champagne. Got the choppers. We're going on a stroll. Now we can keep the hiking going from this morning, but it's That's better right. when we're drinking. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, off, off to, to Vegas, Vegas we, we go. go. <laughs> so guys, we just took a 15 minute helicopter ride up here. They land right on the top of this mountain. You get these insane views all over Vegas right here. As you can see, that's the strip way, way out there, airport next to it. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful, it's exhilarating. This is a way to see Vegas. And as soon as you get to the top, couple refills of champagne, you really can't beat that. How are those views looking from up here? Oh, this is nature Vegas. Chilling up here with beautiful views of this entire area. And I will say, I'm pretty surprised because from this far out, the strip where all of like the hotels and everything, when you're actually down there, it feels huge. It feels like it's never ending. 
But then when you're up here at the top of the mountain and you're looking out this way, it stretches in such a small part and the rest of it is just open plains all in the distance here. And it just shows you how vast the whole Vegas area is because, you know, you can see a distance of maybe, I don't know, 50, 100 miles out. I'm just making a guess here on a clear day like today. And it just shows how spread out and big this place is. It is a cool place. All right, it is time. If he says chug it, we have to do that, you know. That's right, that's pilot's the pilot. Order. <laughs> pilot's orders, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Let's see if you can slam a champagne. This is going to truly test you out. Mm -mm. Let's hop yeah. in. Right. It's always a concern if you got the down near the pilot. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he likes to fly. We might have a tickle fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, goal is 250 miles an hour. Oh. Chug on it. <laughs> Start your engine. <laughs> all right, all right. We've got a 15 minute cruise back, ladies and gentlemen. And the pilot has decided he's going to be handing the controls over to the guy to the left of me. All right, so down is up and right. Up is down, right? Start the music. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was quite an experience. Feeling real good. Going on a helicopter, getting some torque in. Got a great yeah, sunset yeah. here. Pretty f***ing amazing. God bless America. Oh, incredible time. Thank you, brother. Hello, we have made it to Green Valley, Las Vegas. Let's go get some chow up here. So guys, tonight we're going to be trying out some Mediterranean food, which is uh, quite ironic because as you know, I eat a lot of Mediterranean food as I travel all over the Mediterranean. And this stuff's going to probably be pretty similar to a lot of places I've eaten, like on the Mediterranean Sea in Lebanon. So we're going to see how this place compares and show you this side of Vegas. We're about 20 minutes, 25 minutes off this trip. It's been about 33 bucks to Uber here and uh, worth it. All right, Mediterranean Grill right back that way. All right, Ortica. Mediterranean Grill. Let's get ourselves a spot. Dude, Vegas is so wild. <laughs> you can, you uh, can straight up sit at the bar. No and way. Play poker while you're doing <laughs> it. Like... Best Mediterranean in Vegas? Uh, that's a good sign. How's it going? All right. Hello, how are you guys? Thank you. Oh, check this place out. Lounge spot, shall we? The vibes are high if we've got the Don Rob show live in action. We're starting. This is coming to you live. we got food on our right. Hey, give me that. Looks like we've got drinks on drinks on drinks. Cocktails it is. We need your advice. What's the best cocktail here? I would say the old fashioned is one of my favorites. Old, old fashioned? Yeah, the classic. Uh, oh, Aether's old fashioned. All right, sign me up for uh, one of those, please. Give me a uh, tequila soda. Tequila soda. soda. Alright, beast. Alright, cut that. Yeah, that's great. Can we start with the hummus? And then I'll take the 8 ounce Wagyu. My man David, if you can hook me up with a uh, half dozen oysters. I'm not trying to eat too heavy, so maybe I'll do a uh, 8 ounce filet mignon. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Thanks, David. David. Appreciate it. All right, Cheers, so we got, brother. We got ourselves some cocktails here. Cheers, brother. Vegas, baby. And it is time to chow down. The appetizers have arrived. A little hummus and pita mm. bread. No complaints, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This is heaven. Fantastic. Thank you. That hummus is outstanding, man. Beats Lebanon or no? Absolutely not. <laughs> He's true to it. I never will. Oh, baby, baby. I can tell you there's one thing that I know for certain on today's dinner is that the Don Rob is missing out not having some of these delicious oysters. So it's been a while since I've had one. I remember back in the day, I used to not like these because the texture tweaked me out. Then one day I had them in San Francisco because my brother forced me to. And now I slurp them down like there's no tomorrow. Oh yeah. Hey, but look what we've got going on right here. That is an eight ounce filet mignon. <laughs> we got to dig right in. Let's go ahead and Chop and bop. Slice like a dime. 
Ooh, medium rare, just how we like it. That slice was about six dollars. This slice is about twenty. Just so we can show you the insides. Wagyu, eight ounce prime steak, flown in from Japan. Kobayashi, that's my nickname, ladies and gentlemen. Holy goddamn shit. Mmm. Take that home to mama. Chocolate flourless cake with a bit of ice cream. The only way to do this is to sample a little bit of this. Get that right there. I'm doing it on this side for you guys. Oh, oh wow, that breaks apart. I asked our boy David for uh, chocolate lava cake, but I guess he gave me something better. Oh, and that was about... 250 for us to chow down. Yala? Yala. Just vibes. Thank you very much. And that, my friends, was 72 hours in Vegas, a much different side of Vegas than you probably could have imagined but nonetheless, an insane amount of fun. And if you guys wanna check out some of these things we did, I'll put a link down in the description below so you can check out these crazy Vegas activities. That is just a small fraction of what there is to do here. And we've got a lot more coming in our upcoming videos, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas, Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. Vegas baby. As they say, Vegas baby. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas.